Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you for the blessings of the day. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, do not pass me by. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet. That as I minister, I shall minister under the protection of the blood of Jesus. I speak is better thing. That the time spent here will never not be wasted by any distraction or confusion. I thank you even for my reasoners. I pray that this word will go further a good seed into their hearts which will be good ground prepared by your Holy Spirit to bring forth the fruit of encouragement in Jesus name Amen and Amen. Welcome to One Word TV I am your presenter Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA The title of my message will be praises and to our God. You know, every time you wake up and you find you are inhaling and exhaling air, air, you should know that you have a reason to praise the Lord. My verses of reference will be from the book of Psalm 100, the whole chapter, it's only of five verses. From New King James Version, the Bible says, make a joyful Shout to the Lord, all you, all you rads. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. He, it is he who made us and not our, we ourselves. We are his people and the, frog, the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. You have a reason to praise God. I have a reason to praise God. Why? Because he has created us in a unique way. Each one of us is fearfully and wonderfully made. And the psalmist, when he's he, he realized that he wrote so many psalms. In actual fact, that the subtitle in my Bible is a, a song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. So this day, I want to remind you that God is faithful. Your situation may seem like it is saying otherwise. You are wondering where was God when this happened. God is still in his throne. And I want to encourage you by reminding you of his servant Job. God was still on his throne. And when the devil went and he, God saw him, asked him, where have you been? And he said, I've been to the world to and fro. So the enemy is always to and fro looking for someone to distract. And God asked, be keen to listen to this. God asked the enemy, have you seen one of my faithful servant Job? So what you could be going through, know that God is faithful. He must have provoked a situation for you to be elevated to the next level. Be encouraged and be full of praise to our God. I woke up this morning and God gave me a song and I can't just wait it to be recorded in Jesus' name. I'm asking for finances to be recorded in the next volume. And it's in my mother tongue. And I'm proud to do it that way because that's, you know, we are all blessed to differently. I have a sister in the UK who always encourages me and tells me, Mom, you know, we have not been all called to, to, uh, to all people. Each person has been called to a particular people, kind of people. So when I sing in my mother tongue, it's okay. I want to be authentic. And I better, nobody is going to take it because it's mine anyway. Mm. Dabiro, dewa moanya, nawe wa biro, we wa moanya, idwa de twa biro, toria moanya, toria moanya, toga si dagiega iwe, wa biro, 
we wa muanyo nani da biro de wa muanya idwa de to biro to re muanya to biro to re muanya to gasi da gai you have been created in a unique way and that's why you need to embrace what the psalmist have sung enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with the praise be thankful to him and bless his name or irrespective of what you are going through tell your soul to praise the Lord. David in another psalm he said bless the Lord oh my soul he was speaking to his soul you know it is good sometimes to be going even in the mirror and be talking to yourself. So sometimes I go to the mirror and I say Florence like there was a recent message I got and I read it and I came to the mirror and I said Florence this is not your message. When there is that discouragement that come to broke your highway of praise, go to the mirror and look and yourself and say, I am fear-free and wonder-free made according to Psalms 139, 14. And when the discouragements come, you can write them down and lead them back to yourself on the mirror and say, if you are Peterson, say, Peterson, this is not your message because God has made you with a reason to praise him. If even on what or whatever could be going through, praise the Lord because remember the Israelites. Before them, there was a red sea. Behind them, there was a chariot of Pharaoh following them. They did not see a way. You may not be seeing a way in your situation, but I tell you, stand still and you'll see the salvation of the Lord and you'll live to be giving a testimony. I was there, but now I am here. I have seen the Lord. Can you be able to say in verse 5, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. The faithfulness of God is upon you, my brother, my sister, even upon myself. May God help us to be full of praises because he is in charge. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, take over. Let your Holy Spirit water this word to bring forth the fruit in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. That is the starting point. Do you want to commit yourself? It is you in a personal way and tell God, I surrender myself to you. I give myself to you. You want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Irrespective of what is going on in my life, I surrender my life to you. Take over. Write my name in the book of life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, guess what? You've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. I would encourage you to look for a church nearby where you live that preaches the full gospel without compromise from Genesis to Revelation for your spiritual growth. When you go there, Desire to be a participator rather than a spectator and the Lord will bless you. I love you and God loves you the most. I hope. Until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio that way. Using your smartphone, download the app One Word Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7 when you are blessed. Be a blessing to other people by sharing and the Lord will bless you. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. And I also want to remind you that every day as you wake up, there is a dosage that God gives gives you and this dosage is called fear not because God is in charge that you have written a book that came last month in September it is available online you can get it from the publishers which is West Bow that is uh, West like the, the side and then B O W press.com you can also get it on Amazon and also in AB. May the Lord bless you. You are not going to be the same because you know every situation God is in charge and you do not need to fear. God bless you.